Only if what I tell you appears absolutely unbelievable have we any chance of visualizing the future as it really will happen. The most intelligent inhabitants of that future world won't be men or monkeys. They'll be machines, the remote descendants of today's computers. Now, the present-day electronic brains are complete morons, but this will not be true in another generation. They will start to think, and eventually they will completely outthink their makers. Is this depressing? I don't see why it should be. We superseded the Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal men, and we presume we're an improvement. I think we should regard it as a privilege to be stepping stones to higher things. I suspect that organic or biological evolution has about come to its end, and we're now at the beginning of inorganic or mechanical evolution, which will be thousands of times swifter. And yet, you know, human beings are almost infinitely adaptable. Look at the incredible changes we've experienced and survived from the Stone Age to the present time. And yet even greater changes are still to come because the future is not merely an extension of the present with bigger and better machines and cities and gadgets. It will be fundamentally different. And many of the things we take for granted will one day pass away as completely as, oh, spinning wheels and sedan chairs and oil lamps. And that is why the future is so endlessly fascinating, because try as we can, we'll never outguess it.